Are you struggling with the controller of your filter? Don't worry, I will explain for you how to manage and set the values on your Azut filter controller. First of all, I must tell you that I will speak about the Talgil controller that is the most common for irrigation purposes. We have other models for industrial or special applications. And we have two different models, one 220 volts and the other one 12 volts. The 220 volts is AC, the 12 volts is DC. And let's go now with the controller. The first thing you, you can check on the controller is the battery in case it is a 12 volt controller. It's only by pulling this cover and here you will find the batteries, okay? Four regular batteries, 1.5 volts, okay? Most commonly you will receive the controller with three batteries installed and the one battery apart to avoid the battery to get discharged, okay? I will leave it like that because I will explain you now the second cover. On the second cover, this one, we will find the extension module. This is the extension module, okay? To extract the, extract the, the extension module is very easy. It's only pull, push up and pull it again. Here you can find outlet A, outlet B, and common, okay? And to put it again is, is very easy. You only need to put the pin in the correct position, push it a little bit, put down, and push it again, okay? Always be careful to remove the batteries when you are touching the controller, the extension module, sorry, or disconnect the electricity. We can install up to five extension module and each one will have two outlets. That means 10 outlets. That can be nine filters and one master valve or 10 filters, all right? If you want to reset, you will have here a small button. You can press it and you will reset to the factory parameters. And here you will have also the connections for the uh, PD switch. You will have the red one is the high pressure P1, black one is low pressure P2. We will see now how to manage all the buttons and the screen here, all right? The first thing you will see here is the DP actual, the current differential pressure our differential pressure manometer is reading, okay? The, se the second thing is the preset DP value, okay? In that case, is 0.5. That means that when we arrive to 0.5 bar differential pressure, the controller will start the backwash, okay? Flashing time, in this case, is 35 seconds, okay? And flashing mode is 30 minutes. That means that the thing that happens the first, that we arrive to the differential pressure, the preset differential pressure, or the preset time, will activate the backwash. The first button we have is the M. M means manual, and this is to manual activate a back flash. We can push, and this is a back flash. It's starting now, all right? <clears throat> if we want to stop, just push it again, okay? The second one is the enter. If we push the enter, we will start in the first le level of programmation, okay? So let's push it. And here we can adapt the flashing time. We can put 30 seconds instead of 35, for example. We can change the preset value for backwash. We can adjust to 0.4, for example. And we can adjust the time in which we want to backflash in case we don't arrive to the DP switch, to the DP value. For example, every hour. We will backwash every hour if we don't arrive to the preset value. 
Then we will continue. Number of accumulated DP backwash. As this is a brand new controller, there is no backwash accumulated, okay? Number of accumulated backwash by time. Once again, no one. Number of accumulated backwash manual. Once again, no one. Okay, this is the first layer of setting of the, of the controller. Let's go now for the second level. We need to push the enter and keep it pushing for several seconds. We start now to the second level of resetting, okay? And the first one is the main valve, the master valve. Do we have a master valve, yes or not? If yes, we can choose also for how many seconds we need to advance to maneuver the master valve before we start the backwash. For example, we can preset 10 seconds, okay? 10 seconds. Then we go for the dual time. Dual time is the time between filters in case it is a, a, a multiple filter bank. You can preset eventually 10 seconds. DP delay is the time that uh, the differential pressure should be over the preset value before we start the backwash. Okay, we will put 10 seconds. Looping means how many times we will perform a backwash continuously before we start or we send an alarm, okay? We preset if you backwash for, let's say, more than seven times continuously, just uh, give, it, give to me an alarm. Alarm, we can put no or yes, okay? The alarm is only a beep. Delay valve, forget this parameter. View outputs also, forget it. We can change the pressure to PSI or bar. Calibration, we can calibrate the PD switch. To calibrate, we need to disconnect the two microtubes to open air, and then we put calibration here. Okay and we will calibrate. Done, okay? The calibration now is done because the two microtubes will be to the atmosphere. And this is the, uh, the year and the month, okay? And that's all. I hope this video will be useful for you. Thank you for watching.